Hey everybody, it's Griffin and Micah here from Myosin Training. So we're doing something a little bit different. You might have noticed this is not a newsletter. Uh, instead, we decided to just do a little video recording of the things that we wanted to cover in our newsletter. And we're going to call this Myosin News. We're going to try this out and we're going to see what you think of it. And maybe we'll continue it. Maybe we won't. We don't know yet. It's going to be pretty <laughs> informal. It's going to be pretty casual. We're going to show you some stuff. We're going to teach you some things. And thanks for stopping by. So, Micah, what do we have for them? Let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to do is show a white screen with nothing. Show a on. white screen of death. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, I know. I nailed it, right? Okay. So, we're going to do that. You just cut this section out. No, no. No, that's yeah. staying in. No, <laughs> All right. Keep going. You're doing great. All right, so we've got several tools and web pages to show with you right and show you right now. Uh, let's get into it. First one is GeoSpy AI. GeoSpy AI is a tool that we commonly use to upload pictures that we want geolocated. They use an AI, they use some other things to figure out based upon vegetation, uh, the types of buildings that are there and other things, where in the world something might be. But wait, there's more Griffin. They've just introduced this really cool feature. I'm going to go ahead and click this button in the upper right called Play Now. And what I'm doing is a GeoSpy AI battle. Me and you, Griffin, against the AI. We have to figure out where in the world this is. And we have a time limit. You see this black thing is going down here? So Okay. So this is... Um... By the way, we're going to expose my absolutely abhorrent nope. geolocation I, skills. No time for that, Griffin. We have a short license plate. That's either yeah. in, in, in suburbia houses. This is Canada or the United States. Come on, stick with me. We have a, a yellow oh, palm tree, southern United States, definitely yeah. not Canada. All right, I'm going with Canadian Florida ball. or Georgia. Mm. Yeah, let's just see if we can see the license plate. No front license plates, Griffin. Dang it. All right, let's just go ahead and do this for the sake of things. I'm going to pick right up here in Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, uh, Gainesville, Florida. Ready? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's see. And oh, GeoSpy won it. It was Orlando, but it was Florida. So we got some points. Yeah. We got 4,588 points. They got 4,962 points. That's pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so the idea here is that you do five rounds of battle against the AI. I've done this several times and I've won one time. Um, but it is something that's great because what it'll do is tell you what features the AI was able to pull out. Like down here, it says thoughts. The image shows a suburban neighborhood, single family homes, palm trees in a street with a sidewalk. The architecture of homes is consistent with the style found around Orlando, Florida. So it knows that. Now we know that and we're all a little bit smarter, but that was fun. Griffin, I know that sometimes when we're doing uh, image analysis, we'll see things like mile markers or electric poles. And we're like, oh, I wish I had some kind of thing I could look at to see all of the different electric poles or license plates in the world. And then I could just compare my picture to it. Haven't you ever wished for that? I have wished for that. Well, I wish, wish no wish. longer, my friend. Geohint.com is here. Oh, no. We're going to get canceled after the first episode of this. I just think so. we absolutely will. Or flagged yeah. for too much hilarity. So um, one of the things that we used to do is use geotips.net, which was more, here's a country. Well, tell me all of the things about it. And it was great if you thought that something was in South Africa or Australia or somewhere in the United States. You could click there and see what the bollards and what the mile markers looked like. But you had to know that continent and country. Many times we're just looking at, well, um, things like architecture or bollards or things like... Da, 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 da. Flags is a big one for me. Which one? Flags. 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 Oh, here's flags. Yeah. So... Here, you can literally just scroll down and go, okay, well, let me find the flag that I see hanging at that person's house. Oh, it's black, red, and yellow. That has to be Germany or could be Germany. Or well, the person is German, something like that. And then you click it. So this presents you all the possibilities for you, the analyst, to use in your work, which is really helpful for beating a darn AI and also probably in your OSINT work. Griffin, what are your thoughts about practicing OSINT. Do people need to do that? 
Absolutely, they do. And it's fun. How are you going to commit those skills to memory if you don't have something to practice? That's so right. here we're going to talk about our friend Sophia Santos. Uh, we talk about Sophia in a bunch of different places in our uh, in our socials and um, blogs and things like that. So she creates some really cool OSINT exercises for the community, all for free. And then she does walkthroughs of how she solved them and gives links to different resources and things like that. And uh, it's just a great continuing education resource, a great way to practice your skills. I also like that they're like, they're bite size, you know, yeah. you can just like tackle one at a time. It doesn't, you don't spend days or weeks working on it like a big, long project. It's, it's, um, it's much smaller, more manageable. So thanks for that, Sophia. Yeah. Um, and thanks yeah. for the YouTube walkthrough videos that explain mm -hmm. it the way that you did it. Because even as an experienced OSIN person, I love learning how somebody else views the situation, what resources they use as well. Absolutely. Good stuff. It is. But ultimately, Griffin, I think what many people want in OSINT is tools, right? Nice. So many comments we get is tools, tools, more tools, more tools. Well, we've got you some sites here that can help you out with that. This first one is lambda.black slash OSINT.html. And what this is, is a big, humongous list of tools that are tagged. So if I'm only looking for ones for usernames, I'll type in username here and then nothing happened yes. until I scroll down <laughs> and you can see all of these tools like no, I'm social cat fit, people uh, go find who all of these things have that somehow the word username or something uh, associated with them. This um, part going to cut out. Yeah, we're going to definitely cut it out. Are we? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it totally failed because like Insta followers has to do with usernames and kick. I mean, it does have usernames. We'll code it out if it doesn't have what's my name. Let's go down to the W. What's my name? There it is. Oh, uh, good. We're back. We're back. We're back. Great. So tool. this will help you if you're looking for usernames or Instagram apps or whatever. Please, please, please always verify the applications before you use them. This one is just a list of tools, but you need to really learn uh, what you, YouTube GeoFind or Breach Dictionary a directory might do before you just use one off of this tool. Also, we always like presenting things to you in multiple ways or presenting multiple tools that do the same thing. So today we saw OSINTools.io. And guess what they do, Griffin? It is a uh, directory of OSINT tools. Um maybe that you could look into and get explanations of that is exactly what it is and look wow. over here we can search we have username we just click on that and it reduces this there's what's my name um but it, again it's just pointing you to other resources in kind of a nice and easy way uh, by tagging resources like what's my name or know them or whatever with multiple tags those results can show up in different categories of OSINT data, much like this thing, Griffin. Oh, this is garbage. Don't check <laughs> this out. For those of you that might be listening, this is Griffin's ultimate OSINT collection start me page. And mm -hmm. Griffin, you've added all of those links for those things that we talked about to your page, right? I have, and I was going to tell them all, but you just told them, so now I don't need oh. to. Well, let's cut this out. Go ahead. You talk. Oh, okay. So I've added the links that you've seen to my ultimate OSINT collection. Now, I have a section there on the upper right of tools and resource collections because there's all kinds of those meta collections of OSINT tools out there. Uh, and I love those. They're really they're great. There's several that I use all the time, um, including the new ones that we've added there. Also, on the left-hand side down towards the bottom there, we have a section. I have a section of OSINT communities and discussion boards. Um and I've added uh, several recently created or uh, I guess recently known to me community boards um, or discussion groups or websites that are for the OSINT community. And some are even uh, focused on certain parts of the world. There's a Switzerland one, there's a France one and so on. And so if you're looking to get involved in the world of OSINT, one of the biggest tips we can give you is get involved in the community. And that community might be geographically local to you. Uh, maybe there's a, a community for your country or something like that. But the wide world of the OSINT community has lots of places you can go for discussion, for networking, for learning and things like that. And I have a bunch of those listed in there. Definitely check those out and get to know some people in the community like us. And Micah, how could they get to know us in the community if they wanted to? 
Well, they can always like this video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media. Uh, we're on LinkedIn, X, and several other platforms as well. You can always find us on myosynth.training as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we hope you have a great OSINT month.